question is math invented or discovered. So when you say assembly invented or whatever, uh, you, well, you, someone it might means this assembly is a mathematical theory, but sorry. <laughs> right. Are we arguing? Exactly. Are we arguing now? That's what okay. it sounds like. Are we discovering No. Well, yes and no. I would say... Um, and you call mathematics a language. Mm -hmm. I would say developing. that... Like, I'm pretty sure that... Um, there, there are some very common seeds of mathematics in the universe, right? But actually, a lot of the mathematics that we are finding now is not discovered, it's invented. Um, but even though I think those two terms are very triggering, and I don't think they're necessarily useful, because I think that what people do, the mathematicians that say, oh, mathematics w was discovered, because they live in a universe where there is no time, and it just all exists. But what I'm saying is, and I think in the same way you can create, let's say I'm going to go and create and make a piece of art. Did I make that piece of art or did I discover, discover it? Like inventing the airplane. Did I invent the airplane? Let's stick with the airplane. The airplane is a good one. I, let's say I'm, I did I discover the airplane. Well, in a way, the universe discovered the airplane because it just chucked a load of atoms together and a load of random human beings want to do stuff, and then we we discover the airplane in the space of possibilities. But here's the thing: when the space of possibilities is so vast, infinite almost, and you're able to actualize one of those in an object, then you are inventing it. So in mathematics, because there are an infinite number of theorems, the fact you're actually pulling, there's no difference between in inventing a mathematical structure and inventing the airplane. They're the same thing. But that doesn't mean that now the airplane exists in the universe. There's something weird about the universe. That, you know, so I think that the more, this is the thing that I, you probably, the more memory required for the object, the more invented it is. So when a mathematical theorem has a, has a needs more bytes to store it the more invented it is and the less bytes the more discovered it is but everything then is invented it's just more or less invented absolutely the okay the universe has to generate everything as it goes yeah and it wasn't there in the beginning and the way we're thinking it when you're thinking about the difference between invented and discovered is because we're throwing away all the memory yeah so if you start to think in terms of causality and time then those things become the same. Everything is invented. And the idea is to make everything intrinsic to the universe. So I think one of the features of assembly theory is we don't want to have external observers. There's been this long tradition in physics of trying to describe the universe from the outside and not the inside. And the universe has to generate everything itself if you do it from the inside. Assembly theory <laughs> describes how the universe builds itself.